Hey, we're back. We're live with some more Elden Ring for the 27th stream. I think that's correct. 27 streams in a month. A little over a month. Might as well roll with it while I still have the uh, desire to play this game. I think we're almost 90 hours into it. Can you believe that? I sure can't. But maybe we will complete the game for once. Welcome back to my stream. And so here we are. Finally. And uh, let's see, we're just going to continue off where we left here last night. And I think I want to just get right back into it. Switch over and... Because uh, we have a lot to explore in this new area. And eventually we need to go back to some older areas that we still have not yet uh, completed. But, I mean, this is an open world game and I have no idea where. I mean, look at this map. It is just insane. I lose sleep over this. I literally lose sleep over where to go next. I mean, there's really no rhyme or reason which way to go. We're just roaming. That's all we're doing. Just to recap, we've only done one story boss so far. Margaret, I think it's called Margaret the, the Fell Omen. That is the only story boss we have found. Now, we can pretty much guess where the next one will be, but we kind of left the area, which is the Storm Vale Castle. And we left. We we started doing this, and we it was too hard. Uh, we just kind of did not do it. So I'm guessing the second story boss is going to be here. It's, I mean, that's the logical progression. But look where else we've been. Ninety hours total now, or almost. Maybe it's eighty. I have to double check. Um, but now we're here, and this is kind of a hard area. Two bosses that we tried but can't defeat yet. Three of them here that we can't defeat yet. And now we're kind of stuck in the middle. So I figure uh, we'll just kind of go around these areas. Um, try to see what all this stuff is. And see what other trouble we can find. Uh, we still need, 100%, we still need... Smithing stone number threes to upgrade our weapon. Still, after all this time, we still cannot upgrade our one favorite weapon, which is the greatsword that we're using. We are stuck at plus nine, or is it plus eight? Let's take a look. Um, yeah, this, uh, this is not good. I think that's why we are kind of lagging behind. Yeah, it's heavy greatsword plus eight. We, uh, we, there's, I can't find Smithing Stone version three to upgrade this. So we're kind of stuck. I don't know what to do until we just happen to, to find some more Smithing Stone version threes. Stuck on plus eight, the strength rating of uh, B scaling, which says it says right there in the middle there, strength B scaling. Supposedly this weapon goes to A scaling, but until we get more smithing stone version threes, we can't we can't do anything. We need six of those things. I think we have five. Let me double check. And I still refuse to look up anything online. I I just don't want to be spoiled by anything um, on YouTube and whatnot, but kind of hinders our playthrough by not having smithing stone number three so there's one two three um wait it says we have eight of them now we have eight of them i wonder if we found two of them last night and we didn't realize it i also didn't realize we had golden seed here um With that in mind, if we actually do have eight, maybe our sword requires eight of them to upgrade. Let me, 
you know what just to be sure let's double check this we're gonna go back to the round table hold right here let's double check that man if this is the case i remember i logged off last night and i did not check um all of our loot that we had gotten if we have if we can upgrade this thing i am going to shout hallelujah because man we are so underpowered right now well where have you been hiding i took you for dead no matter it's all the same lay out your arms then all right please for the love of all things holy <gasps> yes okay oh my god we can actually do it i don't know where we picked them up it must have been late last night when we when we finally looted a few things and it just flew by as we were running from these enemies wow okay so i'm actually excited because we had five of them so we must have found three of them or two of them yesterday uh or three of them now that we have eight because for the longest time we could not upgrade this thing oh my god this is this is great so let's upgrade this thing finally to plus nine Man, I am so excited right now. I can't even contain myself. Oh my god, that's... That is amazing. Okay, so now we're going into the next step of Smithing Stone 4. Oh my god, yes. Uh -huh. So now we have 18 Smithing Stones. Now the upgrade path is going to become so easy. We just need enough money. We have 8,900 to do the 4720 upgrade. We need only two smithing stones of our 18 to get to plus 10. So let's do that quick. My gosh, this is amazing. So now our next upgrade is four smithing stones, fours, and we have still 16 remaining. So now, wow, this is, uh, so we're still strength scaling B, but look at the damage on the weapon. 230 plus 164, this, this will be very, very helpful. Now we can go to 11 plus 12 requires six again. Now, uh, I'm not sure where, I don't think we can buy smithing stone fours yet. So we, we are needing to be careful that we don't run into the same problem that we have with smithing stone threes. We don't want to run out of smithing stone fours. Um, I want to also be able to upgrade. Let's see. Can we do this? I wanted to upgrade another weapon in the same category, which is the Colossal Sword. Yeah, there's Vihander. Um, see, I want to make sure that we don't run out. Hmm. see a lot of things that we have still require smithing stone threes i don't know what it is why in this game smithing stone threes are so comparably rare to all the other stone versions that's why it's so annoying that you can't just upgrade what you want because you have to always watch how many smithing stone number threes do you actually have and most of the weapons that drop require a number threes. So you're always stunted halfway through the upgrade path because you simply run out and there's nowhere to find them. Yeah, I think we're going to stop. Even though we can go to plus 12, I think for now we're going to stop. I want to keep my 12 Mything Stone 4s until we amass a few more. Because I am a little f afraid that we're going to um, find ourselves in the same position where we just were before with Smithing Stone 3s. Uh, because the higher the stone number, the more and more rare they become as the playthrough goes on um, as you're getting into higher level areas. So let's just leave it at... Um, I think we're at plus 11 now. Well, it's, a, it's better than plus 8, because we just started at plus 8. 
So maybe this is a good place to just see how the damage goes. Right now it's 238 plus 174. That should be a pretty significant increasement. Um, let's stop there. And then in the meantime, uh, we will just continue to amass more runes too. Because we only have 2,500 left after doing the upgrade. So let's just... Uh, Let's just leave it at that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else around here. Every time I come here, something changes. Uh, like... What is... I don't even know what this room is. Are we supposed to jump down there? I, I don't spend much time in this area. Only to upgrade my weapons, but... Oh, look, this door was open before and now it's closed. That's weird. Um, there's a guy in here that you normally talk to sometimes. He gives some story information. Now that door over here recently opened. We already checked out what the guy in red said. Um, let me see what is going on here. Yeah, see, and we can only buy smithing stone one and two, not threes, not fours. And we can buy somber smithing stone threes and somber smithing stone fours. But we need smithing stone three and four. And I think this is where these empty slots will be one, two, three, four, five. Um. Yeah, so that's not helpful. Yep, I uh, I don't know what to do at this point other than just leave it at plus 11. Let's just do that. And uh, see if the area that we're in, if it's helpful at all. It should be. Whoa, 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 whoa. This door has always been closed. I don't know what I did in game to push the story further because we have not defeated any bosses or, or story bosses that is so why is this door open I have never seen this door open before what on earth is this area wow okay what look at this creature is that a creature or a hand or what is that? I'm not even sure what we're looking at. Creepy. And this person. Talk to this person. Are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I am Enya, the finger reader. I interpret the words of the fingers. Envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble. Oh, there's a finger. Welcome you, Shadbear. Let their hmm. wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring. Root of the Golden Order. Anchor of all lands. Giver of grace. Wellspring of all joy until it was shattered. The tragic corruption of the order has taken its toll. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, falling to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating, but the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave tarnished, your great room is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind to become the Elden Lord. And restore the golden order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Oh yeah, they're actually moving. 
Let's see, let's make sure we exhaust her dialogue. I don't even know what this means. Receive power from remembrance. Receive equipment of champions. Um. Let's do this one. Great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Show no mercy. Have their heads. Take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Graft, it was but a distant relation. The runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. Hmm. All right, let's see. Uh, receive power from remembrance. Oh, wait, what? Uh, I didn't think we were doing something here. So this is a uh, part of the tutorial. With the power of remembrance menu, you can draw out the power of a remembrance namesake. Each remembrance can provide one power. Once that power is claimed, the rem remembrance will be lost. Oh, so this is the remembrance of the full moon queen. We did that like two nights ago. Um, where we had to run around the room and uh, kill the, the things, the creatures laying on the ground that were singing or whatever they were doing and it would drop the, the 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 person from the ground or the the moon queen from the ground and then we would try to hit her a bunch of times and then it would rinse and repeat okay so that was that take the power of its namesake by a finger reader let's see what it oh what is this remembrance of Renala, queen of the full moon I don't understand, though, what it does. Receive power. Carrion Regal Scepter. Hmm. I guess it's a magic user thing. I don't think it's something that I would use. Um, on a strength build. Our guy, Warcleaver the Brute, he only does strength, endurance, and vitality. Or vigor, rather. Um... I don't know what this Regal Scepter is, so I think we're going to leave this alone and we're not going to use the Remembrance of the Full Moon Queen. Select which mem Remembrance you wish to plume for power. Oh, 
Oh, I see. So when you click it, I was wondering I was how to get there. Magic scepter, or a sorcery asserted with carrion queen. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, I don't want to do any of this. No. Let's just exit out. But it is cool. So, I guess when we get these remembrances of different bosses, they will um, grant you an additional power that you can extract, I guess. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, let's try the equipment menu. Let's see what that says. So this again is, looks like it is sorcery kind of thing. Uh, oh yeah, I love the pictures. I like the lore and the pictures um, of the items. So this is like a crown. This is the robe. Bracelet. And leggings, okay. Huh. That is cool. I wish we had some kind of cool warrior armor. I guess we just have to defeat a great big warrior dude to extract their um, their armor from it. Now go forth. So I guess we're finished here. Let the words of the fingers guide you. That is massively creepy though. Huh. Uh, there's no loot behind there. Touch. The, oh my gosh, you can actually touch him. Alright, uh, let's touch him. Oh, you get a gesture. Rapture. Weird. Okay. So I guess that's what this uh, room is for. To extract remembrances from power from former bosses. Or named bosses. Alright, well that's good to know. I guess uh, we can get out of here and we'll go back to where we were and we want to just now continue exploring this whole entire area. That would be cool. So let's go. Nice. I'm still happy that we were able to upgrade the weapon just a few more ranks with um, Mything Stone number threes. That is definitely um, helpful. Oh, you know what? Let's make sure that we are always do, uh, holding the weapon with two hands. All right, so now we got to figure out where do we want to go? I figure just kind of go around here. See what this area is all about. All right, let's just go this way. We'll just kill anything that was in our path. Pick some of these flowers while we're at it. This is a huge area though, for sure. So up those stairs somewhere is that thing we tried to fight last night and we're not successful. Maybe uh, at some point we'll get there. See what's in this uh, chasm down here. Oh, that looks kind of scary. It is nice that I mean you can pretty much go wherever you want. So I guess we're going in here. See what this is in the water before we move on. Whoa! We almost fell down in there. Oh, whoa, what is that? There's weird footsteps. We've seen that before, even on the beaches um, in uh, Limgrave, in the other area. There's the same similar footsteps, with, like invisible footsteps. I never could figure out what that was. You know what? Let's put our lantern on. Might help to have a little light. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand what those feet are. Whoa, it's coming straight at it? Okay, maybe not. 
these things are kind of weird. The poison flower thing. You don't get much experience for them. Hmm. Okay, this thing is annoying. Oh my god. Really? Oh wow, we got two of them in one hit. Nice. Great dragonfly head. I think we needed a few more of those. Let's see. Let's see what we can craft. Um, I think we need a few more fire grease. Let's uh, make five. Five additional fire grease. Um, a few more blood grease. Okay. I guess we'll just uh, see what's in here. What is in this uh, lake area? I was like going along the walls. Oh, look, they're poisoning. I guess they knew we were coming. Wow, they uh... They're not very strong, but they don't really uh, give a lot of experience either, so kind of a waste of time, honestly, to be doing this, but Gives you a few hundred wounds, that's about it. Oh yeah, hey look at this. There's an actual cave in here. See, this is exactly why you have to explore every nook and cranny. It's great. So this is our first little cave. Uh, okay, we have 3,100. Well, if there's something in here that... Oh, there's a gray site. Nice. Let's grab it quick. Nice. And there's a, a summoning portal, which we never use. Cool. Now we have an additional gray site on the map. The old tunnel, that's what this is called. The old tunnel. So there's a... Um, a summoning stone here, but... Uh... Why... So that's the exit. That's where we came from. Just a room. Why is there a gray site in here if there's nowhere else to go? What kind of madness is this? Wait. The old tunnel. So that means... Is this, is this sealed? Is there a door? Let's see. No. Hmm. I thought there was like a fake wall or something. I mean, it says it's sealed, so there's got to be a way through, right? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Nice. Sometimes they do that. That's really funny. Okay, so yeah, so now there is a purpose for having this gray site here because we just opened up the entrance. Uh, the old tunnel, yeah, okay. Ooh, okay, so there are enemies in here. So if they're sealed, how do they get out? How can they keep living? God, these guys look to be super tough. Alright, this, uh... These guys don't get damaged very easy. I bet this is another, uh... Kind of like the crystal taverns. 
where you need to use a hammer. Like last time, we needed the hammer. Let's see if we can use this mace. This is the brand new mace that we got. We haven't really upgraded it much. And I think blunt weapons might actually work better on these type of creatures. Now, I don't, I'm not familiar with the move set of this thing yet. Uh, okay. Then we can block. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? I, I don't know if we're going to be doing very good damage with this or not. There's some smithing stone on the wall. We just don't know what version it is. Maybe it will be more threes. That would be nice if that was the case. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that guy is actually walking and patrolling. Let's uh, jump down. Oh, what is happening? Oh my goodness. Okay, we got those little tiny guys here. Make sure that we are very careful not to get snuck up on. Oh, there's a chest here, nice. Uh, let's see what's in here. Give me loot. Mithing stone miner barrels bearing two. Oh my god. I wonder what... That is amazing. Mithing stone miner barrel two. We already... Uh, I think we uh, turned in the barrel number one from a total different cavern. Which allowed us to buy Mithing stone one and two. Now, I don't know which version you can buy now with these. Even if it was four and five, or two and four, or whatever, if we can buy threes now with that, that'd be amazing, but we don't know until we turn it in. So, at least it's something. That would be pretty amazing. Considering we've been starving for smithing stone number threes. See if we can sneak up on this guy quick. Oh yeah. Oh, this does massive damage, okay. I think this does good damage. Oh shit, this guy. Alright, so I think the mace does do a good job with these type of creatures. Smithing stone number five. Okay, well we need threes, but we'll take the five. That's fine. Alright, before we go that way, let's continue on over here make sure we check every nook and cranny I think we've seen everything here now we don't want those two uh, mobbing us so let's see if we can't well you know what forget it let's just get this thing here. Oh no, I wanted to backstab him. Okay, hold on. Alright, so hopefully we can take out one of them quickly. See, this guy is not even paying attention. He's not even paying attention. That's good. Alright. Poison stone. Whatever that is. Hmm. 
So, wait, so now we're, again, we have nowhere to go. Is it, are we sealed off again? This can't just, this is it? Tell me there's more to this area than just that. Now it's going to make me hit every single wall just to see if there's a fake wall somewhere. How about here? Oh yeah, oh my gosh, really? Man, this is, this is why you just have to try and hit everything you can hit. Let's see. Yeah, it does say sealed tunnel, so. Man, that's amazing. Oh, wow, this is, it opens up even further. Now there's an elevator down. Nice. Oh yeah, that goes way down there. Um, now hopefully there's nothing bad in here. So far so good, we've- Oh, there's a smithing stone on that wall up there. Oh my goodness, we gotta go back up. See, this is the thing with uh, elevators and that kind of thing. There's always these hidden little pockets. Along the wall sometimes. So it tells me again, this is gonna be some kind of fake fake wall again because we'll have to hit let's go back up and see if we can't jump off and get that that uh where is it now i don't see it what the heck go back down there's a smithing stone somewhere i saw oh there it is oh damn it okay we got to jump off quick here we go do it again. This might take us a few a few tries. Oh, we barely barely got it. Okay. Mything stone five. Okay, that's good. Uh how do we get down without taking damage? Um Well this kinda sucks. Oh, I think there's a ledge there. Okay, let's let's jump over. Jump. Jump onto this log, I guess. Oh, there we go. Huh. No, we can't get through there. Nope. Man, that is a deep hole. You don't want to jump down there. Yeah, let's just go over here. Now we'll have to call the le the elevator back. So far, so good. I, this cave is pretty neat. So, smithing stone number fives and the uh, miner's bell that we can turn in. Miner's bell number two. That was a great find. Oh, we're supposed to not go up. All right. I'm getting all turned backwards here. Let's make sure when we spin, let's make sure there's nothing else to grab. No, nope, nothing else. All right, here we go. So there's gotta be a, a fake wall here too. There's gotta be. Otherwise, why have an elevator down and it just ends in this room? There we go. See, now we're getting the hang of this, this cavern. There's all kinds of fake walls and stuff. Really? This is it? Another one, of course. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Man, I'm kind of a little worried about what kind of bosses at the end of this thing there might not be a boss but so far of all the caverns that we've done 
there usually is a boss. Come on, we have a ton of enemies here. Let's just sneak around a little bit. The little guys. Okay. Now these guys might, uh, Oh, this one's sleeping on the log. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go back up just in case. Yeah, somebody's coming up after us. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. There's two of them coming up after us. Are they climbing the ladder? What on earth? I don't think they're climbing the ladder. Alright. They are patrolling down there. See, they're, they're brown color, and it they blend in so well that you could almost not catch them. Alright, so we're going to have kind of a trouble. This is going to be trouble. So they don't climb the ladder, but we're going to get mobbed by two of these things. I wonder... If we can stand on this, do you think it's going to break? Let's see. We could stand up here and try to shoot him with the bow. I mean, we do have a, a fire bow. Uh, see, now I don't know where they are. Can't find this one. Oh wow, they're trying to smoke us out. This is pretty scary because I am not entirely sure. Oh look, the guy down there, he, he woke up. And now he's trying to get us too. Oh great. Well, I guess we could jump down here. Just jump down here. He was up. Oh my God, okay. We're in trouble. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Come on, come on, Let's go. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, I didn't see him sitting there. Um. And these guys. All right, let's. Since there's no way up for them to get up here, let's just check out this tunnel area. Yeah, of course, there's more in here. Alright, so here they come. Whoever's coming. We know they're gonna come. Yep, there he is. Oh, what? Come on. Alright, so now we got some loot. Stone sword key, which we could use for later. Let's tap this wall. Nope, it's not fake wall. Um, okay. So now we still have three guys, or at least two guys at the bottom that we cannot see. I don't know where they are. Oh, there's one. Oh no, there's one of those wheel things. Okay, this, this is a bad place. This is honestly... Um, if we die here, we can say goodbye to 6600. There's no retrieving this stuff. Nah, there's no retrieving. 
Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't drop down because look at this thing. That thing in the corner is one of those chariot things that are on wheels. And they will screw with you. They have like these spinning blades on both sides of their bodies. Hmm. Um. Let me just get out the bow. We'll pick a few um, targets and see what if we can get them moving. See if I can get this thing to move. Okay, here we go. Man, I. Ah, dang. This uh. Our weapon is so big, we can't see what we're doing. Let's just shoot it quick. Huh. And it's not doing much. Alright, let's shoot that guy. Too far away. Oh man, this is gonna be a difficult one. I don't know how to do this. Um. Okay, this guy's coming. Oh shit. Really? Oh no, we got two of them. Now we're gonna get gang banged. Oh my god, I hate this thing. Oh my god, okay. This is not good. We are absolutely screwed right now. Did we kill them both? we did oh boy okay hmm. all right so I guess we killed those two that are up there there's still two or three on the ground with that big thing so we cannot we cannot fall off I do not want to be on the ground right now Gold pickled foul foot. I believe it's for increasing uh, rune drops. Not actually used one before. I think that's what it is. Okay, there's one. Oh, there's two. So there's one and two. And they can't see us, I don't think, so. They're just kind of patrolling. There is some loot on the ground, but. There's no way we're going to go there. Alright, let's just move on. Um, the problem is, is that we will have to face them. Because there's no way to teleport out. They don't let you teleport out. So we'll have to come up here, drop off, and run to that ladder to get up and out as fast as we can. Guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Alright, let's sneak around here. I don't see anybody to target. We can't even get through here. There's got to be another wall then, right? Fake wall somewhere. Oh, boy. Hmm. Can we jump on it? Oh. I think we can jump on it. Can we hit this? No. Well, come on now. How do we get out of here? If we can't get further? 
Oh, I see what it's doing. Uh, if we jump down here, we there is truly no return. Oh man, this is bad news. This for sure is bad. Alright, let's heal up. Okay, this is a one-way ticket. 7,300 wounds on the line. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, we're screwed now. They blew us... They blew us up down here. Uh, okay, this is just not where I want to be right now. What on earth is going on? Okay. Uh, this is cool. At least we get some more smithing stone number five, I guess. This is really a little scary. Oh god. Oh wow, okay, so <laughs> this is like little little bombs, I guess. Boom fragments. I don't think there's anything else in here. I'm glad there's no enemies in here because we we're, we're gonna have enough trouble getting out of here. Grace Mimic, Room Fragment. Okay, so that just goes back up to where we were. Oh, my gosh. I'm not sure what the room fragments are for, but I guess we'll take them. But I think we gotta, we really, really, really gotta be careful. Smithing stone five, where did I find that? I just looted it. Oh, it must have been here somewhere. Okay, so we gotta be careful. When we go near those balls there, or those, whatever they are, they will explode. These mines or whatever. Um, okay, let's loot this thing. Old fan. Maybe we can shoot him from a distance. Oh, we can't. We can't target him, so that's why. There's no way to target them. Let's just leave him alone. I don't even care if there's loot underneath him. But there is no. Oh my god. There's no reason to get killed over these things. Oh gosh, there goes another health potion. Alright, let's loot these up then. Alright, so we are half dead now. Still have, uh... We'll have eight health potions after this. Large Grintstone Scrap. How on earth do you get out of here, though? Yeah. 
So, I mean, this we're basically trapped in this room. There's got to be another fake wall somewhere. Probably this one. Ah. Okay. Found it. So, I think we've discovered everything in here. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Nothing to loot, nothing to see. Nope. Alright. Let's try to move on, I guess. And we should probably heal. Alright, so we have eight health potions left. Try and get the hell out of here. Oh, there's outside, but we're still stuck. Hmm. Have a drink of tea. I don't see anything that we can target, so I'm going to assume this is safe. Item down there. Uh, let's make sure we're standing over this. We'll just drop down. <gasps> oh, oh my god. <sighs> we were almost going to drop to our death. Alright. So, let's get that smithing stone first. Drop down here. Drop down there. So it looks like this whole cave just has smithing stone number five, which is fine. But now we can't get that one. So it was either a choice of looting this or that one. Um, so that's, oh well. Uh, let's see, now we can drop down on this. Unless we can jump. I don't know if we can make that though. I mean, we can jump pretty far. Okay, we got it. Okay, nice. Great. Lightning grease. Okay. That's good to apply to a weapon. Alright, so now... I mean, we can't see what's down there. We have no idea what we're dropping into. Could be all manner of enemies down there. Okay. Well, so far there's nothing to target. Walk up here. I don't see anything. There's nothing to target, I don't think, so... Let's just drop down. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh shit. Holy hell. Oh, wow. Oh. I keep forgetting, because they just look like rocks. They don't look like explosives. All these rune fragments, I don't know what what they're for. But I'll take them. There's got to be another site of grace where we can spawn from because we are so deep into this thing that there is no way to retrieve anything if we if we die here. Probably sneak. Where are we on? Oh man, we're getting way underground here. Um. The 
half of the target here. Nope. Not a fake wall. Try this. Not a fake wall either. Oh boy, I don't have a good feeling about this room coming up. Hmm. Alright, let's check out our weapon. So, we're holding a great stars plus six, but we could probably do better if we just equip our two-handed greatsword plus eleven. So, let's just, uh... Put that on. Get rid of the shield. And get rid of the bow. We should be able to... Yeah, we can roll pretty quick. The problem is we have no way to get back here. There is no way. Hmm. This is bad. Okay. Well. I think we should apply um, fire grease. And then we just run in. Because. Oh boy. We better prepare ourselves. If this room just reeks of trouble. Alright. All right, we're going to apply the fire grease, walk in, and then summon our helpers, if it allows it. Let's go. Okay, say bye-bye to 8,000 moons. Onyx Lord, what on earth is this then? Oh, we can. No, you can't. Oh my god. Get him, boys. Get him. Wow, this guy. This guy. Oh boy, come on. Just keep hitting him. Get, keep hitting him, stupid. Oh my god, I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. Oh boy. Heal. Come on, keep hitting them. Go, go, go. No, what? I'm out of stamina again. Oh, boy. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, God. Okay. You gotta write that down. Onyx Lord. Nice. Okay, let's see what this... So we always keep track of our bosses. Um, yeah, I kind of knew this was coming. Onyx Lord, and this is the Onyx Lord Greatsword. Wow, that's kind of cool. Onyx. Wow, nice. That's kind of cool. Alright, now I'm curious what this greatsword is, because it's in the same class and category that we, uh, are, are upgrading this sword, too. So what on earth is this onyx... ...sword? Where is it? It is. Onyx Lord Greatsword. Needs 16 intelligence. What? Why? We have we have nine, I think. Yeah, nine intelligence. Yeah, there's no way to use it. I mean it would take a while to upgrade this thing anyway. I think some of the other weapons we have are still better. It's still kinda cool though to get these new weapons. Okay. So we know that this is the exit. 
return the entrance, but I am curious where this goes. We came from there. You know, I've always wondered, what... What is this thing? What is this thing? I, I don't understand what this little statue thing is here. I've, I've seen this before. There's nothing we can do with it. I don't know what that thing is. Hmm. Make sure there's nothing else to loot in here. I don't think there is. No. Alright, instead of taking this exit to the to the entrance, let's see what's out here. Oh wow. We're going toward this thing, I think. Oh, there's a side of grace. There it is. Nice. That's perfect. And we got quite a few runes upgraded. Can we summon the horse here? No, we cannot. Can't summon a horse here. Um, okay, let's just run over here and get this grace site quick before we die. A horrible death somewhere. Alright, I feel much better that we found this. And now we're at this building here, which... What on earth is this? Hmm. Is there a cave down there? I don't want to drop down to find out because I, I don't think we can get back. It almost looks like a cave entrance. If we drop down, we'll never get back up. Yeah, for now, we may not want to do that. Oh, we can pour it around. So let's just see if this door opens, first of all. Divine Tower of West Altus. Oh, what is, what is this place? Divine Tower of West Altus. Hmm. Wonder if the door will open. I don't know. Should we even go in there? Um. Well, let's try it. It's tightly blocked shut. Hmm. No idea what the requirements are to open the damn thing. But since there's nothing else to do, let's um, let's now drop down here. Because if we get stuck, we can always pour it out with the portal. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Jumping down. <gasps> oh my god. You can't jump there. Wow, our very first death. What? I swear this thing gets us every time. And they make it look like it's supposed to be jumpable. Okay. 81 deaths so far. I hope, yeah, I was going to say, I hope our money's right up here. There we go. So even though it looks like it's, you can jump down there, I bet they've had so many deaths over here. People thinking, oh yeah, we can jump down because there's a cave down there. People try it. It's just not, it's not an area in the game you can get to. Alright, um, oh well, we tried. Let's, um, guess we'll just have to head on out over back over here. Um, the only place we haven't looted in that seal tunnel was that ground area where those two were on the ground still with that big rolling machinery. I think we're gonna skip that. I, I don't, 
I don't think there was anything good on the ground. We got what we came for. So let's just pour it back to where we started and then we'll go out this way. Or we can check out to see if there's something over here. Um, hmm. We could potentially try this boss, but I don't know if it's going to be worth trying any of this stuff. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here first. Let's see uh, how many smithing stones we have again. I think we need smithing stone ores to upgrade our stuff. Oh, you know what? We got that miner's bell. We have got to turn that in. Because if it, if it does what I think it's going to do, it will allow us to purchase number three and fours. Let's do that quick. If it does, this is going to be the best day ever. This will literally be the best day ever. If we can start buying smithing stone three and fours by turning this thing in. Hey, the door is back open. All right, we got to talk to this guy first. We haven't been in here in a while. All right, let's see what he says. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then just as promised, I bid you welcome. As a true member of the Round Table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge. To be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. Okay, so now we're finally part of the group, I guess. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir, Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lane Dell, and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. So we just defeated her last night. More great runes, won't you? Wow, okay. So we just defeated Renala last night. I didn't realize the significance of what we did. I thought it was just some random um optional boss but it's part of the story okay so let's let's see about that of Rhea Lucaria lies to Lingrave's north towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia Renala is queen of the Carian royals who govern the academy but Renala herself is no demigod her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband Taking the title of King Consort, the Great Rune dwells within the Amber Egg that was Radigan's gift to her. Okay, so we have... I'm just going to put an asterisk in the boss list here that Renala, Queen of the Moon, I think was part of the story bosses. I'm going to put an asterisk there. So we now officially have done... Uh, Margaret the Fell Omen, which I put in asterisk. That was the first story boss. This might be another story boss. So we have Godric, Radan, Rikard, Margaret, and Renala. So I think we've done two story bosses so far. Okay. And if it's incorrect, I'll take the asterisk away, but at least we... Looks like it, we did do something there. So let's, uh, I think the next one we should be doing is Godric. I think it's in the castle Stormvale. So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. 
Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. Alright, so we're not going to look into anybody else because I think maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll go back to Stormville and see where Godric is because we've done part of Stormville, but we never found him. We haven't gone deep enough into it, so maybe we'll save that one for next stream. But let's go ahead and um, go to the Twin Maiden Husk and turn in this smithing bell. I am so curious what we can buy. Now, offer bell bearing. Offer smithing miners bell bearing 2. So this is version 2. We already did version 1. So we offered it. And now I am I am hoping. I'm hoping. I pray to you, Elden Lord Gods. Let me buy smithing stone number 3. Let's see, let's see, can we buy, okay, we have one, two, three, and four. Oh my gosh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, this has been so, this has been an ordeal. So now we can finally buy threes and fours, so we can upgrade it all the way to plus 12 on any weapon we own that uses smithing stone. Wow, that is, uh... That is a great thing. All right, so let's go ahead and um, let's go back to our armorer, the blacksmith, and start upgrading this thing because now we can be fully upgraded for our level, I guess. Finally, man, this is... This is a long time coming. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. Okay, so we need six smithing stone fours to upgrade it to plus 12. So that's what we're going to do now. Because now we can simply buy smithing stones to do it. All right, so now we have maxed it out to 12, and the next step is smithing stone number 5, of which now we have 23 of. We only need two of them to get to plus 13, so we'll do that here too. Because I think we're in an area where we're going to find lots of fives now, so just like we did, we found like, what, four or five of them in that cave alone. So this is good. So we're now at plus 13. Um, let's be careful how much we spend now, just in case we want to upgrade one of these other weapons. Um, our old favorite used to be the um, Lord Sworn Heavy Greatsword. Additional items required. Okay, so we need number threes again. So we're gonna buy we're gonna buy a bunch of threes so we can continue to upgrade a few more of these weapons. Because I don't want to leave these behind now that we're able to buy uh, smithing stone three and fours. We need to keep everything updated as far as we can. Uh, let's see. So we need number threes. We'll buy, um... Let's buy eight of them. And then we'll buy some fours. We'll buy another eight also. Alright, so now we only have 7,200 left. 8,100 left. So we need to save some money for the upgrade cost itself. Eventually I want to practice and check out dual wielding two colossal swords. 
think we have enough strength to do that right now we're just two handing one sword but it would be kind of cool to dual wield two massive colossal swords that's kind of what we've been going for um So we could do the Troll's Golden Sword, or keep with the Zweihander, and do that one as our second sword. Let's do the Zweihander. Upgrade it again. Okay, now we're starting to run out of money. Ooh. Okay. So now, but that's the least of our concern. Money, money we can get by defeating enemies. So that's, that's not a problem. Um, we should be upgrade this one more time for four smithing stone number fives. It is our main bread and butter weapon now. So I think, um, Yeah, we should probably do it one more time. Do one more upgrade, make it plus 14. All right, so the next last final upgrade will be plus 15 before we need smithing stone number six, which we do not have smithing stone sixes. Um, yeah, so let's just leave it at that. We're at plus 14 on this weapon, which is very good. Alright, let's just uh, go back to where we were. And we can continue exploring the area again. Maybe we'll find more caves. Where we can get more smithing stones. Always the uh, the goal. Now, just for reference, if we were to dual wield, we would be able to. So this right hand is plus eight. Our current sword is plus fourteen. So there's a massive scaling difference there. But this is kind of how it would look. We would have two colossal swords in our hands and we'd be able to okay that's just that but we'd be able to do two wields man that is that's, that's gonna use a lot of stamina and it is very very slow but it, it would do a lot of damage too Plus, you can do a, a jump attack. Let's say you're running at somebody. Jump. And you can attack them. So this might be kind of an interesting... I don't know. I've never dual wielded, but this might be kind of fun to try. Right now, since the uh, dry hander is kind of lagging behind, I think we will put this away for now. And just uh, two hand, the single handed weapon, like we have been. Alright, let's see what's on the map. So we've kind of done this area. Um, I'm not sure what th if this is the wall or if this is something we can go through. I do not know that yet. Same goes for this. And of course, same goes for this. I, I don't know what this is. Is this water or is this like, I don't know. That's hard to say what that is. Let's go uh, over here and just see what is right here. If it's a wall, then we're, we can't go any further. Then we'll go up north. So I guess we'll just... Uh, Continue on. Oh, the road. We'll go on the road here. Yeah, 
we'll see what's over here too. Now that cave went all the way under here to this area, Divine Tower of the West Atlas. Altus, not Atlas, Altus. No idea because the doors are closed, so we don't know what's in there. Uh, but maybe we'll find out soon enough. Check out what is over here. This is this huge area. Need to just explore again every nook and cranny. Oh, we can summon, uh... Or does that mean there's danger? Because we can summon our dudes. Let's walk along this wall, make sure there's no doors and stuff. Might be... Uh, there's nothing, huh? Nah. Uh, nope, there's nothing. Well, that's a shame. Oh! Why did I do that? I meant to hit the triangle button to, to do that, to loot. But now we just wasted a health potion. Oh well. Alright, let's go along the wall some more this way. Make sure there's no other doors of any kind. Oh, I see. We're just going along the wall back. Okay, so then we will have discovered this whole area, or looked at this area. Just making sure there's nothing here to see. Okay, so we're back. Alright, let's, uh, let's sit down here quick. So we can replenish the one health potion that we accidentally just used. Alright, so now we can go back up there. Alright. So instead of going along the wall, let's just check out what's over here. over there. I don't really see anybody there, though. Alright, let's go check out what's in the fort. Gotta be something good in there, right? Wow, we can summon our guys. Let's just summon them. I uh, know. There should be a reason why they're letting us summon our helpers. Because, I don't know. Oh, the dude's there. What on earth is going on? What in the hell is this thing? Okay, get out of there. My god, what is going on? Oh my. Uh, dude. 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 What is this thing? Okay, we gotta... We gotta see if we can... Hit it. Oh wow. Okay, I think our guys are getting destroyed. Our dudes are absolutely getting destroyed. I'm just gonna try and hit the tail. Or something. Oh my gosh. Really? Alright. I think, uh... Get back on the horse, because... Seems like it was going a lot easier. <gasps> no! Oh god. Hit him. Hit him again. Wow, 
so we got two guys left. Why is he not dying? I've been hitting him non-stop. Is he dead? Oh, fuck. Okay. Golden seed. That was a reward. Oh, well, that's good, but... Wow. Uh, what was this thing called? I forgot. I gotta write it down, though. We'll look it up later. We did defeat something here. I don't know what it was, but we'll look it up later. Again, any, anything with a full health bar on the bottom, we, uh, we write it down as a boss that we've defeated. Looks like there's some loot here. Giant Crusher. What the heck is this thing? Giant Crusher. Oh, wow. So we have a hammer, a brick hammer. Giant Crusher. It's a C scaling and strength. My gosh. Unable to... What? You need 60 strength to wield this thing. Wow. 60 strength. Look at this massive hammer. Wait, can we... Well, we're two-handing it. This is... This is... This is kind of neat, but it's not very... Um, the distance isn't very good. It's a very short distance. So this means that you really have to be close to your enemy. So it has a endure. It has a good. Um, let's see what it is. So that is the buff. Oh my god! It does a somersault. That's amazing. Man, you don't want to get hit with that thing. Huh. Look, there's another one of these things. What are these pokey things? I see them all the time. I just don't know what they are. My gosh, this is a pretty cool hammer, but... It's just... It's not very, uh... The reach. The reach isn't very good. This is cool, though. Huh. Yeah. Oh, well. Fun, but... I don't think it's will be for us. Alright. So it looks like we uh, cleared out this area. Uh, Alright, let's just go back to the gray site, and we will sit down, replenish our health and mana, and then we'll and then we can go back up there to see if it respawns again. I don't think that boss will respawn. I mean, it shouldn't respawn. Uh, can we upgrade our flask yet? Let's see. Add shards to flask. Oh, four golden seeds. Nah, we don't have four. Nah, we don't have four. Um. Let's see how many we do have. Okay, we only have two. Yeah, so we need two more before we can get an upgrade. And I guess that means we just have to find them somewhere. Let's go back up there and see if this thing respawns. I I don't think it would, but it might. Oh wow, everything's back to normal. 
Does it really mean that this thing will respawn? If it spawns, we'll run away. Let's see what happens. No, it's not going to spawn this time. Nope, not spawning. Okay. Wow. Come on now. Let's. All right. These are definitely stronger enemies now. Like, um, yeah, it looks like that, that boss was a one-time thing. So we'll definitely have to write it down on our notepad. I just don't remember what the name of it is. Alright, so I guess we're uh, free to go elsewhere. I guess we can kind of make our way down here and see if this is actually a wall or if we can get through. Now this is a big city area. I don't know what this is, but it looks to be pretty... Oh. There is a shiny there. Oh, wow. Got that guy down. Holy grease. Okay. Lump of flesh. Oh. Alright, I think we killed all the wolves. Okay, so I guess we'll just, uh, again, make our way over here. Let's put our marker down. Let me know which way to go. We just follow the road. resources as we go. Oh, what is this? Look at this guy. He's just sitting there. Oh, we got another wolf. Oh, that must have been his dog, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, it is just a wall. It's no, um... There's no entrance. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, I don't think there's an entrance. Oh, there's an enemy sitting there. I guess we'll uh, have to flip him. So there's no way in. Let's take this uh, marker off. Yeah, there's no way in. So it's got to be somewhere else. Probably this is the main entrance right here. So I guess we'll go there in a little bit. Let's uh, see what's up this hill.
So we got 15,000 already, already again, so that's some good money to buy some more boons or some uh, some more smithing stones, I mean. Now what on earth is this place? Weird. Whoa, 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 what's going on with this flower? Oh, it's an enemy. He was a, he was hiding. That's too funny. The enemy was in disguise. It was just hiding itself. Oh, this, uh... a weird place. Minor Erd Tree Church. Yeah. So, in the past, where we have had Erd Trees, we've also had Avatar Bosses. Oh, here's another one of those dudes. There he is. Boom. Oh, he's dead. So, if there's an Erd tree, minor Erd trees usually have these avatar bosses that we need to be careful of. Oh, here's another, another one of these tribal people. The bad guy. Uh, let's go inside and see if this is what I think it is. If this might be another boss fight. Oh wow, there's a shiny there. Minor Erd Tree Church. Oh, it's a side of grace. Nice. Okay, so there's no. And we got a cookbook for more crafting recipes. Normally when there's a uh, side of grace, there's no enemies nearby. Perfect. So I wonder if we're gonna get, um... Hold up, we need to touch this side of grace. And... I wonder if this is going to be one of the sacred tears. And the sacred tears, again, we use to um, increase the potency of our health potions. I'm hoping that's what this is going to be. Golden Order Seal. Okay. So let's look this up and see what that is. I think it's still used for the same thing. Find it. Oh, I see what it's used for. Um, wait, Golden Order Seal. Where is it? Golden Order Seal, okay. This ornament has no skill. If the ornament in the other hand has a skill, that skill will be used instead. Form a sacred seal depicting the ceremonial observation of order. So I have no idea what it's even used for. Okay. Well, I guess it's garbage to us. We won't use it. Oh, what is this? Acquire materials. Golden centipede. I, it's a new item. Oh, we've never seen this before. Golden centipede. Man, the new area, I guess, gives you new materials. Um, golden centipede. What is that used for? Just says material used for crafting items, of course. 
kept as fetishes by golden order fundamentalists. As such, they are found near churches or similar. Um, it doesn't say for what recipe it's used for, but oh well. Okay, so I think we are done here too. So that's cool. So we have um, Minor Erd Tree Church. Okay. So that's on the map and we can't go through here. So we'll just move on up this way and investigate what's up here. Eventually we will probably have to go down this way to get in, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. So that's where we killed all the wolves. There's that gray site that we normally use. So I guess we'll head this way. So we're not going to go down in here because we already, well, we could go over here to see what's up here inside the lake. Let's do that quick. We could just make a quick, a quick run. Just to make sure again that we're not missing anything. Oh, man, that is super deep. Oh, nice. Okay, I see the um, the little air, the air bridge thing, whatever it's called. Let's put our light on. I don't know what these steps are. What these feet? What are these? I don't, I have no, I still have no clue and we, oh my god, what is this? What just dropped in front of us? Oh, they're not that strong. Oh wow, okay, so we... Huh. Like a slug or something. Alright. I'm glad it wasn't a tough fight. That was too easy. Alright, so we have that air lift there. So yeah, if we... We don't have to uh, go all the way back. And it looks like there's nothing in here of interest. No cave opening. None of the sort. All right. So facing that way, if we look on our map, or we'll be put right here somewhere. Alright. Probably be put right here. Alright, let's jump up there. There we go. Just some 
lava stuck on the ground. I think we saw that last night on the way down. Okay, so there's some wolves over here. Yeah, there's a wolf sitting there. Oh. What on earth? Really? Come on. Okay, let's just get rid of these wolves. Okay, let's just go up further up here. So that's the entrance, I think, up there. So we gotta be careful though, because we have 18,000 moons to our name at the moment. On the line. Oh, really? Okay, so now we just wasted. We just wasted our, uh, our guys. Hmm. Got one shot of mana. We're at the top of the stairs here. Oh, so we still can't summon them even though we have mana. That's weird. This is where we were last night when we picked up two of those golden seeds right here. Okay, so there, it looks like there's someone up there that is blocking this entrance, because this is the entrance. I have a feeling there's a bad, bad thing up here. Well, I guess we can always run away. Hate to lose eighteen thousand moons. What are those? Are those horsemen again? Or are those soldiers? Okay. So that that was easy enough, wasn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. I thought it was going to be a little more difficult than this, but so far so good. Come on. God dang it. Wow. He's just sticking out his torch. Alright, here we go. Lost Ashes of War. Hmm. 
get over there. Well, let's see if this door opens. Nah, there's no, there's no, doesn't open at all. Fake ass door is this. No, there's no way in. We haven't checked out this one, but oh, we have. That's that's the the little hill going down. Oh, who's this guy? He is an enemy. You know what? Let's not kill him. Can we actually talk to him? No. He's an enemy. He's dead. Well, this sucks because we can't get in uh, into the building here. That's a bummer. Okay, there is a enemy, if I've ever seen one. Right over there. Can't target him now. So there's more enemies down here. All right, we need that Ash of War right here. Oh, come on, get it. What on earth? Come on. Ash of War, Golden Parry. I don't know if it got stuck or if it was meant to be in the wall. I, it looked like it got stuck. It didn't look like it belonged in the wall. Okay, so there's a lot of bad things up that hill. Including some big ass creatures sitting on the edge there. Right there. Um... Hmm. Oh yeah, he's sitting here. I'm gonna put a marker down. Another creature there. See how we have multiple creatures blocking the way, and this might be the road where we need to go. This might be the entrance right here, possibly. Maybe. Looks like this is another minor Erd tree. Um. Hmm. So we got multiple enemies blocking our way. We could go all the way around, like, like so, and then go along the wall here and on the road. Yeah, it almost feels like we're a little over our head. I mean, we have the weapon, though, upgraded to plus, what is it, 13? 14. Not like we are severely underpowered. Also, the thing is, we can't summon our dudes, so... Let's 
to go back. We will sit down and um, refresh our mana, refresh everything. Okay, so now we're back. All right, let's see if we can just run back quick the other way. We've not actually gone through this area yet either, but the idea is to just run past this guy, run past that guy, and end up on the road right here. Oh. Turn our light back on. There we go. I don't think there's otherwise any anything dangerous here unless there's like a bunch of bears or something. Doesn't really seem like there's very much in the way of harmful creatures other than the ones we've already noted. if we can sneak past this guy and go around that would be probably the best plan of action Not already. We should probably investigate this, but I don't really want to waste um, our dudes. If we summon them there, we, then we can't use them elsewhere. There's a gray side there. Or did we have that gray side already? No, we didn't. Okay. This is perfect. Finally. So we have a new gray side. Now we don't have to walk or transport back all the way back there. Cool. Alright, so now we can just teleport kind of around the place, there and there. Hopefully where this is leading will be something, another one over here somewhere, maybe. Okay. So that makes traveling a lot easier. Where are we? 
Oh, we're already at the road. Okay. Let's see what these dudes are. We'll probably take them out. Why is this guy running? Uh, I don't think there's anything else out here. We have to be close to an entrance somewhere. Big guy sitting there. We should probably head back and go down this road or check out what's up here. Yeah, I think the road leads up. Or not. Or here. Ah, here we go. The stairway. Broken stairway. Nice. Okay, so we got some more enemies. Oh, what is this for a beast? Kill it again. But these are skeletons we're gonna have to kill twice. We won't have to kill these things twice. Okay. Go up this way. Kill him again before he rises. What? Come on now. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to uh, target them. There's another one. Kill him again. There we go. Alright, uh, here's another one. This whole area is just infested. Everything's done five. Nice. Okay. The whole area is infested by these skeletons. No, not that again. Oh, man. Oh, God. Got that one. We'll just ride away. Wait till he gets back on the ground. Kill him again, one more time. There we go. Wow, they just keep popping up. So is this the gray site we were already at? Or no? No, this is a new one. It's a different gray site. Yeah. Nice. So we found another one. Let's see. Oh wow, they're very close together. Alright, let's see what's at this hut. 
Oh, it looks like it's a merchant. Nice. Another merchant. Maybe they'll have more recipes for crafting. Check out all the corners here. Get everything there is to be looted. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. Hermit Merchant Shack. Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? Ah, let's see what he offers to sell. Not really much of anything, I guess. Distinguishable great shield. Yeah, it's nothing. It's not anything great. Note imparting knowledge in brief. Below the capital. I always like these notes because when you buy them, they give you a hint as to what's going on in the area. For 800, it's probably worth buying. For, see, further details are available only to paying customers. I think, um, let's just buy it. We'll buy it for 800. Let's sell a bunch of our crap too, because we have quite a few things we can sell. For example, we don't need, we don't need two extras of these. Or two of these. that be we got three of these things we don't need those leather draped tabard for 200 wow and we don't need we'll sell what we have but always leave one item of each it's just good to collect them and they don't uh, take up any weight because they're all part of our inventory but they don't add to our weight okay look at all these hats wow all of them are 200 each that's amazing gilded foot soldier cap we can sell all of these except one okay so we'll leave that one Navy hood. Hmm. Alright, so we have three bronze shields, and we only, or bra brass shields. We only need one. The last one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here we have... So... Two of the three straight swords. So, three daggers. And it's quite a haul. Alright, what else we got here? We don't need two of these. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. Of course, we'll never sell any of our stones. Any of our smithing stones, we're not going to sell any of that. Um, 
I think we're good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Alright, so let's look at our note. What was it for? It's the note that we just bought. Below the capital. Here it is. Examine. Pressing square. So a note sold by a nomadic merchant. Below the royal capital of Lindell uh, is a vast network of sewers. The well in the city below reaches deep into its tunnels. Okay, so that's a good to know. But we're not in the in the city yet. We have to still figure out how to get in there. So my guess is this is Lindell or whatever they call that. This is Lindell. So however we get inside here, which is probably going to be in this area where the roads converge here. I think that's where we're supposed to be headed. So I think we're almost done with tonight for tonight. I think we'll um, go down the road and see what's here. Maybe we'll find another gray site over here. If not, we'll just we'll just log out where we are. But uh, let's go back over here and see what we can find. And then that will be it for tonight. Keep going along the road. More of these people. Yeah, that's a big skull. Look at that skull. Oh, wow. What is that? It was a creature. But it didn't give us anything. trouble. Something spawned over here. Oh, I knew it. Okay. Okay, I think we killed both of them. Man, there's just so many of these guys. Kill them again. There's another creature. See one of those these things. I don't know what they're for or what they even do. I don't know why we're even bothering with this, but oh well. Come on. I get it's very hard to aim here. Another one. What on earth? Come on now. Oh boy. Alright, uh, 
We gotta take the fight over here. So they don't stay on the ground for long. It is kind of a cool enemy though. Alright, there was a item over here. Oh, here it is. And this thing needs to go. Human bone shard. Okay. This whole area is kind of weird. I don't know if there's something that we're supposed to be looking for. But... Too many of these things, dude. There's just way too many to kill. Ah, uh, can't get him. Alright, so here the road goes back down. Let's just, we just need to go. I'm not gonna kill any of these people. It takes too long. It takes way too long. Okay, so now we're back at the road again. Alright. Somewhat clear. Now we're gonna be at a fork in the road here. We'll have to figure out which way to go here shortly. Alright, here's our fork. Uh oh. Somebody's getting hurt. Oh wow, it looks like... Some kind of cannon being fired. Oh wow, I see it. Okay, so we got ourselves an enemy up ahead that is blocking the way. At least one of the ways. if he will be able to shoot us. I was a little afraid if he could see us. Let's put him on the map. So, around here somewhere, we got ourselves a massive uh, golem, like arrow, bow golem, whatever he's called. And now I'm wondering if we can go this way instead, or if he shoots this way too. Let's, uh, let's check it out before we log out here. We'll go this way. Just to see what's up. The 
it seems peaceful, but I have a feeling there's probably going to be a massive crab in here or something. Yeah, there's it's it's this lake area, so there's no way up. There's no way up. We we, we need to get to that bridge. Oh wow. Well. What do you bet there's some crab? Yeah, I see the crabs are there. I bet there's a damn crab in here. This doesn't look sketch at all, right? Oh boy. So that might be the road that goes somewhere else. This looks highly problematic. We got 31,000 runes on the line here. Oh boy. Okay, there is a massive bear there. Uh, unless that's a tiny bear and mama big bear is somewhere else. There's another bear. Hmm. Gotta be a gray site nearby. I see, okay, so there's a little water air lift here. Let's see where this goes quick. Oh my god, it's be it's behind this dude. Oh boy. We definitely don't want him to see us right now. Wonder how hard he is to fight. Also, we are very far away with no gray sight. This is farm from close. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh let's heal up. We're gonna try him. Kind of sneak up. We'll pop the uh, fire grease and then we'll go for it. Unless this guy is already fire. Maybe we should do blood grease. Let's do blood grease. All right. I guess we're gonna we're gonna find out what this is all about. Man, he did, we did no damage. We did zero damage. Wow, that was like point blank. We did absolutely no damage. Okay, we're gonna die here. We gotta get out of here. Why? Why? Why are we constantly just dying here? Oh my god. Well, here we go. Dead. Oh, man. Of course, forgot to heal too, so... Well, we will uh, quickly go pick up our stuff. And then I think we will have to, uh, call it a night. I didn't think this would be so problematic, but... Yeah, we're right there. I didn't think this would be that problematic, but... It is what it is. 
We're not gonna fight that guy. No sirree. Oh look, we can pick up another thing on the way. Cool. Alright, so we're almost there. Oh. Let's, uh, let's take that other path. And since there were no, uh, there were no enemies down here. We can go safely around the back, take the airlift back up, and hopefully get our stuff and get out of there. Okay, ignore the bear. right next to him, of course. So, once we get it, we have to speed up and just get the actual hell out of there. All right, here we go. We're gonna just run. Dude, we're going. Oh, there's a second one. Oh, wow. Okay. Can we hide behind here? Wow, okay. There's two of them up there. That is really interesting. Oh wow, he's actually got us in our sight too. a far, far range. That is a massive range. For sure. I don't think you can find us now. Damn. That was a massive range. Okay, so we got two of them. Um, I'm going to take this one out. And I'll put one here. There's just like two of them right here. One, two. So I guess when we take that water um, lift, we can try to see if we can run around the back this way. Um, if it's possible. This one might have been back here though. So he meet this one, then we'll still see us. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to check that out next time. Let's just go back over here, and I think we'll call it for tonight. And I think we got uh, quite a bit done. Yeah, we have thirty-one thousand moons, so we can upgrade uh, the weapons a few more times, I think, by purchasing some more um, smithing stones. So that would be great. So I think uh, we'll just go ahead and call it here. Yeah, I think it was a pretty productive night. And we did that one cave and did, uh, I think we did two bosses. The Onyx Lord. And then one I can't remember the name of. I'll have to look it up. I always forget to write these names down. And then I have to look it up later. Anyway. This will be it. And we'll be back tomorrow. And uh, see what other things we can get into here. Be sure to like the video. And we'll catch you next time. Adios.